Ooh, another edition of Thursday Night Football in the books. A screamer, Scream. 13 to nine between none other than the highly rated Houston Texans and the Cincinnati Bengals. But big news out of uh, Friday morning quarterbacking, uh, head, I'm sorry, offensive coordinator Ken Zampezzi was fired by the Bengals in a cover up to save Marvin Lewis's ass once again. Good point. Uh, Deshaun Watson started. And within five snaps, we went, why wasn't he starting last week? Including a 50 yard touchdown run, although mm. he looked- It was Vickish, was it? It was Vickish, there's a lot of work to be done. But for a rookie quarterback to get his, his first win in his first game- uh, Against that led, defense too. And also led by a good Houston defense too, it just shows that that's what you needed. Without but, Brian uh, Cushing though, of course. Well, it was, what was week two is always the standard Cushing is gonna get suspended for PED use. <laughs> 2014, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, I think that's correct. Uh, in general, though, what, is there is there maybe a conspiracy at play here? Thursday night football, no matter what, won't be good. Yes. Regardless of the matchup. Yes. Even though there's some good matchups coming up, I think the Seahawks play the Pack. I think they play the Seahawks Packers play on a Thursday night, but you can also think that short week have anything to do with it. Right. A blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while as well, Jason. Um, no, like it, there's no conspiracy. I think the proof is in the pudding at this point. Thursday night football sucks, and Jay Cutler is going to throw interceptions. Like it's just a given. Well, we don't so, know that just yet. <laughs> we we know. It's not even we, Sunday. We have the track record, respectively, that says that I, both of these subject matters are going to blow. All right, we have that. So it, it's it's as sure as the sun rising in the east and setting in the west. Is that what it says? That they are both going to suck. And the reason that Thursday night football sucks and it's been medically proven is because the players don't get enough rest in order to compete on Thursday when they already competed on Sunday. I've spoken with former NFL players, one of them being Bryant McFadden who works at Stadium. I thought you were gonna say Brian Cushing. <laughs> I have not spoken with Brian Cushing. But you know what my first question to him would be? So what's overtrained working syndrome? Which he cited as performance enhancing drugs. Um, without saying performance enhancing drugs, but nonetheless, um, Thursday night football is a sham. It should not be going on anymore. It is a uh, horrible mental hazard for the players, a physical hazard for the players. Most players don't even, uh, they will admit, even Richard Sherman did in the Players Tribune, that they're not even set for the next game until Friday. So how exactly is the NFL going to keep parading out these players where Richard Sherman has said in the Players Tribune that it's a bottom line business and that's exactly what this is, guys. Yeah. That they're going to say, ah, screw the health, even though they talk out of one side and then spit it out the other mm -hmm. behind closed doors of saying that we want player safety to be the priority, which is utter bullshit, especially with Roger Goodell leading the way. So Thursday night football should be gone. If they want to even do Tuesday night football, I'd be okay with that because it's a bit longer of a turnaround. But until we stop watching as NFL fans and stop watching this sloppy product over and over and over again, it's not going to change. Well. You may get your wish in or then later. There's a lot of uh, empty stadiums going around, but that's uh, another conversation. But regardless, uh, you know, it's the bottom line. We know that that is what it comes down to. Regardless of how many um, CTE studies that will come out and back up your point, there has literally been a movie made. I mean, Will Smith was good in it. Accent was a little dodgy, but those movies been made <laughs> to uh, to literally Don't highlight the what the pro the problem is, and players are highlighting it, and that is another reason why very very intelligent individuals like Richard Sherman come out and state that this is absurd the way that we are treated and expected to abide by every single rule that they put in place, and then you get. This recent video, Jason, uh, quickly just tell me who the individual was, the rookie who basically said, I will die for this game. Oh, the New Jets, Jets rookie. So that is installed so from this, from the inception of this game into the minds of young players. Like you're gonna go out there, you're gonna go everything and you're gonna put it all on the line, you're gonna die for this sport. And then you get guys like Martellus Bennett are like, I'm <laughs> dying for this. <laughs> like they, don't, they do not treat me. Like you're being treated as if you're just being sent out there like a gladiator, but you're not getting any of the recuperation time that you need. We know how extreme it is on their bodies. And as you guys know, people are asking, why is he sitting on the panel if he's not gonna discuss the game? I'm not watching the game, but the funny thing about this game is, is I could summarize what it was just by the highlight tweet of JJ Watt's tackle. That was the biggest highlight of this oh game, God, correct JJ me if I'm wrong. Watt. Game over. The Deshaun Probably Watson run wrong. was pretty good, but yeah, definitely. I like the game. I like, I like the. I, I, I call game JJ Watt. Like, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> just Stop stare, laddering yeah, just on stared, my field. He just stared out into the abyss like uh, no one is ever going to get past me with that.
tackle. So yeah, that's what I see. So how do you feel about Thursday Night Football? I mean, like, what's the solution? Is there any solution at all? You can't, okay, so- I agree. Get, I, first of all, uh, I enjoy that there is football on Thursday. I don't like the product that's being put out. So you mentioned Tuesday Night Football. Okay, that's a, at least you get five days. Turn, well, no, you can't do Tuesday Night Football because you play Sunday. You would treat it like a Monday yeah. night football, so you go Tuesday, Sunday. Or just double up on Monday. I don't know. I mean, I the ratings like, have been big. I, here's what I, I never that. understood. Here's what I never understood. Why not have every, like, don't start Thursday night football until the bye week start, and then whoever's coming out of a bye plays Thursday. So you have 10 days off completely. Mm -hmm. You're definitely more ready to go then. And it's it's usually a division matchup, because I think the byes are right. late. So then you have a division matchup on Thursday night. You're healthier. You've had 10 days off instead of uh, the normal will be what four between if you play Sunday. Here would be afternoon. the correct solution: stop the preseason games, cut them in half, and then give another bye week if you want to parade them out for every Thursday. Oh, yeah. for, for each team Either having a Thursday night. Cut game. the whatever it is. It's like how many? What's the ten minutes per you? Five minute quarters for the preseason, something like that. Just really, if you want to have your four games and still get your advertising money, you have five minute quarters. It's super quick. Make them first of all, they like, put them on red zone. You'll make more money on <laughs> right. that kind of shit. Right, but. Uh, the matchups themselves, usually when there's a, first of all, with football, even the best matchup on paper, Seahawks Packers, for example, last Sunday, wasn't a thrilling game until the fourth quarter. Yep. Whereas the Bears and the Steelers, no, I'm sorry, the Bears and the Falcons came down to almost punching in for the Bears to win that game. That was the most entertaining finish to, mm -hmm. I would think, of last week. So, and my memory is as short as five days ago, so I can't remember <laughs> it from last Sunday. So there's, you can't just get rid of it because there's too much money involved. And if we can put the money in its own separate column, yeah, then just say F it. No more, no more Thursday night football. Have two Monday night games. Right, but even just the prime time. Even just thinking about it, like Friday night is for high school football. Yeah. So you life. can't really try and like inflict damage on that product because you want local towns to support their teams. Of course. Saturday is obviously. Diehard college football day, yep. and then Sunday you have all the games. Monday you have Monday night football. You could double up on Monday, or as I said, you could go to Tuesday and try to give them one more day. The fact is, if you try to play any games other than on Monday, you're fucking the players completely. Like I, I know you said it before, but uh, Michael Robinson, former Seahawks fullback, said that it was oh, like yeah. a car crash. Many other players have said it's like a car yeah, crash. Yeah. So try getting in a car crash, barely getting out of bed on Monday, having this sort of week. After Sunday, where you're able to uh, recover and what have you, you get in the cold bath, you get in the hot bath, yada yada, and then you're finally ready for Sunday. But then try shortening that by a few days. It is almost impossible. And a lot of these players are playing not only hurt, as every season does in the NFL, because it's a 100% contact rate, but also they are inflicting so much damage from there on out with their lives. I mean, these are fathers, these are sons, these are. Uh, these are brothers, what have you, in their respective families. And you are killing the families of a lot of these people as well, just so you could put them out to go score six or seven more points. Yeah, so make them play Sundays, Yeah, not Thursdays. Yeah. That's our common ground. Cam Newton literally got in the car crash and then played. That was incredible. <laughs> yeah. Fritz? I have no other points to say, that you're both on point. Uh, and it's, it's it's not like you're making this uh, this assumption that it's such a good product that people just could not turn away from. People watch it because it's there. It's like the Europa League in world football. <laughs> it's just there. If you removed it, no one would really care that much. It's just because it's watched. If you look at the track record, I remember last year when I was watching it, I felt a little bit more closely. And I was, I'm really in, like, I love the sport. And I love watching it, but- Europa League. <laughs> both. <laughs> uh, but last year, I remember I could not count one Thursday night game that I was like, what yeah, no, because it doesn't happen. It just also, doesn't. What's the true Jordy's reaction in the Europa League? <laughs> Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> it's like it's just, it does not come off the tongue. He, he dies talking about it. Look, <laughs> I'm good. <coughs> Hold on. Okay. That's how bad Thursday's. Like. Yeah, Jason seriously, he's getting choked it. up. Choked on it. All right. All right. Well, we're in agreement. We are for once. Usually, are. hopefully more. <laughs>